Hi everyone, I'm Sam Boyer and here with a quite different video today. Um, I've been asked to do this by some people and to be honest I don't really have anything else to do because all my computer resources have been taken up by this thing rendering, which looks brilliant but um, very CPU intensive. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make tables in Python. As we can see here, we have a nested array, which has lots of different ways of saying this, it, a two-dimensional array, a nested list, basically it's lists within lists, so effectively this is what we're going to make our table out of. So at the moment, if we were going to print this, it would just display it very horribly like that, and that is not what we want, we want it formatted and all nice and everything. So I'm going to start with the headings, so I'm just going to do this. Okay, so we have our headers up here. There's first name, subject chosen, and score, which is, which represents if we, each different column in our tables. We've got names, subjects, and scores. And then underneath, we are going to make a for loop. So for each item in the nested list. And then let's see what happens at the moment. And it's going to look better, but it's still going to be rather messed up, and it doesn't follow the actual table like what we want it to do. So, I'll start with, let's put that side in there. So we've got the left side and all the names are now aligned. However, if you wanted to put another vertical line on, you can see because all the names are different lengths, it doesn't align properly, which is a big problem. So what we want, we want a way to, so this is a space, this is a space bar here, and we want to figure out how many spaces it needs to put in before these lines are effectively aligned. So it all depends on the length of this variable. So we'll do space multiplied by, now I can figure out this length here, I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay I think it's 9, so we'll do space bar multiplied by 9, subtract the length of this name, and effectively what this, going to, what this is going to do, it would put 9 spaces in, but then there's this in the way so that it subtracts this. So, for example, on this bottom one with the name is Sam, it's going to it's going to put six spaces in, and then it's going to put the wall. So we will put this into place here, and there we go. As you can see, the lines are all lined up very nicely. So now we can just move on to the next one, and it's pretty much just the same, really. So we'll see if this one's working. It should be. Oh, what, what have I done? I've done something. Oh, that's what I've done. So right, we've got... So the second item is working fine. Now I'm just going to move over here. You can actually put prints on multiple lines like this and it won't actually affect it, which is very good. Now this one's different because we need to get the length. However, as you can see, these are integers. So you can't get the length of an integer. You'll have to convert it to a string first. So we've got item two converted to a string, then the length decided from that. Okay, so sh this, this should work. There we go. So they're all working fine, all the lines are properly aligned, and it's all looking very good. Now you can put your own formatting on this if you wanted, you could do lots of different things that I'm not really doing at the moment, but as you can see, it is working very nicely, and that's pretty much all, that's all I really had to show you. So, yeah, thanks for watching.